The NADCA vacuum test is used for scientifically evaluating particulate levels of non-porous HVAC component surfaces. Using this procedure, a NADCA vacuum test template is applied to the component's ducted airside surface. A closed face vacuum cassette with filter media is attached to a calibrated air sampling pump and the closed faced filter cassette is passed over two 2 cm by 25 cm openings within the template. The following describes the materials and test components used to perform Method 2 NADCA vacuum test verification. Air Sampling Pump an air sampling pump capable of drawing a minimum of 15 liters per minute through a closed face cassette containing 37 millimeter matched weight filters shall be used. Filter media. Filter media within the vacuum cassette shall be 37 millimeter mixed cellulose ester matched weight filters, 0.8 or 0.45 micrometer pore size preloaded in three piece cassette. NADCA vacuum test template. The template shall be 15 mil thick, 0.381 millimeter, and shall provide a 100 centimeter squared sampling area consisting of two 2 centimeter by 25 centimeter slots at least 2.5 centimeters apart. The standard size openings for the NADCA vacuum test template are 2 centimeters in width by 25 centimeters in length. At times, templates with slots of this size may not fit in a space where testing is necessary or desired. Slots of other sizes may be utilized, as noted in ACR, the NADCA standard. Sampling protocol. Secure the template to the surface to be sampled so that it will not shift position during sample collection. The template shall lay flat against the surface to be sampled. The surface to be sampled shall be dry. The air handler shall not be running when the sampling is being conducted. Cassettes shall be sealed with shrink tape by the supplier. Remove protective plugs from the new cassette. Attach the outlet end of the cassette to the vacuum pump tubing. Adjust airflow using an appropriate calibration device to 17 liters per minute, plus or minus 2 liters per minute. Vacuum the open area of the template by sliding the cassette from one end of each template opening to the other. The cassette shall be moved at a rate not greater than 5 centimeters per second, 5 seconds per slot in each direction. The edges of the cassette shall always rest on the template. The cassette shall not touch the duct surface. Each template's opening shall be vacuumed twice, once in each direction. Throughout the vacuum process, hold the cassette so that it touches the template surface with no downward pressure being applied. After the template's opening have been vacuumed twice, put the clear plastic cover back on the cassette. The vacuum pump may now be turned off. Then, replace the plugs. Label the cassette and record the area of the surface sampled. The cassette may now be prepared and weighed to determine the amount of debris collected on the filter media. Analysis based on the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health Method 0500 Total Nuisance Dust shall be used. Scale sensitivity shall be equal to or greater than 0.7 milligrams and shall be calibrated in accordance with the manufacturer's written recommendations. Generally, samples are sent to a laboratory for testing. However, sampling equipment is capable of being brought onto the worksite. It is recommended that samples be procured by a qualified individual designated by the owner and analyzed by an accredited laboratory. To be considered clean according to the NADCA vacuum test, the net weight of the debris collected on the filter medium does not exceed 0.75 milligrams per 100 centimeters squared. Post-project documentation. It is recommended that documentation showing compliance with this standard is provided for all work performed. Documentation can include organized and legible written and visual records. If the NADCA vacuum test is used for cleanliness verification, a copy of the lab results shall be included with this documentation. 
If any outside laboratories or testing agencies are used, chain of custody documentation shall be added. It is recommended that photo images, HVAC plans, and other supporting documents, such as submittal forms for materials used and or warranties or guarantees, are included as part of post-project documentation.